anyone's centenary is a good chance to look back. In my case, I can look back 67 years. In the case of Max Weber, I came across him first in 1957. One of the interesting things about him is he's such a wonderful resource. He, he owns so many different directions in his work. And they can mirror the interests one has had oneself in one's own career. So I was fascinated by Germany, for instance. My father came back from the war bringing me all kinds of mementos. And I never felt hostile to Germany, unlike so many of my generation. On the contrary, when I came across Weber, I wanted to learn German in order to read Weber. And he's been with me ever since. And my short piece in this commemorative volume of TCS uh, is a, effectively a summary of the different stages through which I went. The early stage was working on him on rationality and bureaucracy. And that took me to Germany uh, and eventually to a book on bureaucracy. But later it was rationalization as an idea, as an idea which was much more important to me uh, than the various methodologies which, and methodological controversies that you find in Weber, the fact-value distinction, which I think is overvalued as a direction in his work. I find most important the way he tries to mirror his time and the way he tries to work uh, through the accidents of time, through the direction of history, and then his own contribution towards making sense of it, so that he actually then attempted to intervene in German politics. I find him relevant today as well. Uh, his, uh, uh, one, one, one could say, most famous moment is, of course, the Protestant ethic. And there he indicates a change of epoch. I think we can find a change of epoch in our own time. In fact, probably uh, in my time too, from the modern to the global, from the global to the digital. And you can follow Weber through those changes of epochs and find uh, indications of the kinds of inquiry you can make which will throw new light on things which are around us today. He's there as a resource for us, a permanent resource, I suggest, uh, simply because he never reaches an end point. Cut off so early in his life, we find everything is still rolling on, fresh. Who can tell what would have happened next? My, my own belief is that actually he would have engaged very, very much more with socialism as time went on. But that's just a hint from the end of his work. Thank you for viewing this.